ticket is what we call it, your last leg, you know, it's your last hope of the season. I like the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. You get your ticket, get the golden ticket to go in the playoffs, make some money. If it's one time to do something you haven't done all season, it's now. Only one team standing at, at the end. Uh, you got one Western Conference team, one Eastern Conference team. I love this tournament. I love seeing it because it always comes down to the end. It's always chaotic. I can't wait to see who makes a magical run. Let's do a die for everybody. If we lose, uh, the whole season is over. We're all here for a reason. Didn't have great regular seasons. Uh, didn't get enough points to make it to the playoffs. So we're all here fighting for our lives right now, fighting for our season. Everything's up for grabs for every team. It's almost like the last few months doesn't matter, you know? It matters what happens in that ticket, you know? That's the team who gets that last playoff spot. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of people are about to be heartbroken. We're going to touch on mostly everything in the slideshow, but so we're just doing this and more of a, just to give y'all somewhat of a feel of what they can come out in. Open communication. If y'all see something, feel free to call it out. We take every team the same way. You know, every team is, is, is a possibility for them to get a dub off. So we try to, you know, prepare ourselves as much as possible. You know, watching film, of course, as always, taking notes on what they like to do, their tendencies, and, you know, and still make sure our game plan is tight. Walnut playing against his former team. Oh, I don't care who Walnut's playing. It's always great to watch him play, but you best believe he's got a little bit of motivation. You made the biggest, baddest decision of your life with trading me, and he's going to make sure he lets him know here tonight. Well, here we go. Kings and Cavs. Ooh, the lob. And it's oh, still what? loose. Good grief. What? Bash all alone. Don't you have you all here? Hurry up. Where that Trey Young? Where that Trey Young? Don't believe that Trey Young. Come on, wake up. Time. Stop and pop. The Cavs, it's been a while, Dirk, they got the lead. And there's a nice rim run from Sacramento with the lead once again. And the Kings will advance. Celtics and Hornets, shot from the corner, good. No, 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 no. Make way to the the corner, he's been oh, the facilitator. No. Pistons and Mavs underway. Kenny versus Bag. Down to sick. But the Mavs, Dirk, I mean, they kind of weathered the storm and now they got the lead. They got to try to get a three off here before they get fouled. And does. In and out, no good. Mavs, they're going to be moving on. What does this moment right here mean to you as you move on to the next round? Hey, one game to get back where we belong. Let's get into this Orlando and Atlanta matchup. Jim. Lights it up. 55-39. This one's getting out of hand. Orlando is going to move on to face the Celtics. We, we know Coach going to talk. Should be a fun game. And I tell you what, these maps, they were seventh in the West. For some reason, I'm feeling like they're the Cinderella in this tournament just based on momentum. Charcity got it. Oh, okay. The Mavericks are going to win the spot in the Western Conference here at the ticket. They are moving on to the final. It's all about who get hot right at the right time, so I think we peak it. To Orlando and Boston, a Garnival starting to pick it up. Garnival's just, what have you done for me lately? He's been pretty good. They punched their ticket twice this week to the championship. Nothing more dangerous than the team with nothing to lose. And they came out here and they showed that they, you know, they, they some gritty fighters. I'm ready to secure my first banner. I'm glad to get it out of my way my rookie year because I don't plan on being back in the ticket. It's a gauntlet, man, I'm telling you. One more win and we take our banner home to Dallas. Let's make history. Mass game has been around five seasons now. 
Ain't really won much. Y'all got a chance to switch that. All right, we had our ups, we had our downs. Uh -huh. But when it comes down to it, uh -huh. we're the best team around. You feel me? Okay. We got that golden ticket, baby. We taking it all the way, and we punching them all the way up. Let's get it. Who's the best between the East and the West here at the ticket? Both teams now in the championships. They are in the postseason. And now they got a chance to put a whole lot of money in their bank accounts. Kenny. Yeah, he knocks it in. Jarvis gets a look and he greens it. Matty going to the corner and he greens it. Maverick's starting to see the wheels come off the wagon here a bit. Oh my God. That's deep. We got a one point game. Come on. Oh, no. Let's go, man. A late from Jarvis, but what a rebound by Sick. Jarcity. And Sick to his brother. Big time three. Oh, oh, Dallas is going to win their first piece of the banner. It's the ticket. They not only get a spot in the postseason, but they get 50 grand in the biggest win in the history of their franchise. It's been a crazy season. It's been a lot of ups and downs, but we stayed through it the whole season, and it's, we've been through a lot. So we got the adversity chip on our shoulder, so it feels good to win. Biggest pressure moment, probably the uh, the Hawks series. Must win. Just came out, you know, calm, relaxed, knocked down a couple shots, and we won. For me, it was in the finals in season two. That was like the biggest game of my career. I loved it. At that time, I was really new to this whole stage, and I felt like I dealt with the pressure pretty well. It would probably be my first game on stage, going against the Blazers, a team that was really hot in 3v3, starting off. Not really letting it get to me, just come out and doing everything I can control and trying to win the game for our team. I think playoffs last year, we played probably one of the best teams in Jazz. We played in the first round. It was more of doing what we did the whole season and, you know, the pressure to actually beat them again. Versus the Jazz last year, first round of the playoffs. We had a very emotional season, so we was just happy to be there. And um, just playing one of the best teams in the Western Conference who we, we had kind of beat up on all year. So it was a lot on the line. We didn't get the result we wanted, but it is what it is. They made us better. And it's different when you're a coach. I feel like the pressure's definitely different. I feel like for me, it was against the Pacers. We felt like we had a good game plan, and we, we felt like we had a good idea how to, how to win that series, and we ended up getting swept. To get beat four times, we felt like you know, we were doing a lot of stuff wrong. I feel like I was doing some stuff wrong. That was a big learning moment for me. It's my rookie year, so it was my first time on stage. I would say that's probably the most pressure I felt. I mean, at the end of the day, like you just doing what you do every day for fun. The most pressure I felt is certainly not this year. Um, I would say it's probably back in my early years in the league, just kind of like cementing not just my own reputation, but uh, just feeling like I need to prove myself as I've matured. I don't think it's uh, it's it's not about me. It's it's, it's really about the, the guys and the, and the players uh, representing the organization.